Hey, everybody. Hey, what's up, everybody? So how is our resident actress this morning? Wishing she was on vacation with Andy. No, I've never been to New York City. Oh, well, I have. You have. Yeah, many times. Right over there in that cab. <laughs> right. I don't know that I think of vacation as flying to New York City for family reunion, though. Why? I mean, I love family reunions. We have one every year. I like reunions, too, but when I'm thinking vacation, I think, I don't know, theme parks, cruise ships, overseas excursions. Have you ever been overseas? No, but I'd like to sometime. <laughs> I've been overseas many times. That's how I learned to do this accent. <laughs> really? Never knew that, Travis. Oh, absolutely. I have been to every country in Europe and the Middle East. I've even been to every country east of the Middle East. <laughs> so that would be India, Pakistan... Oh, yeah, for sure, yes. I have been to them all, even China. China? And Japan. Hey, sorry. <laughs> Japan. And Australia. I've probably been there most of all. Where? I never knew that about you, Travis. Oh, yeah. I've been overseas so many times, I've lost count. It must be really expensive flying over there all the time. Oh, no, no. I don't fly. <laughs> I'm afraid of heights, so no, I don't fly. So you just take a boat? No, 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 no. Can't swim. So you'll never see me on a boat. I mean, you never know if those things will go down or something. Travis, you're not making any sense. If you don't fly or take a boat, then how do you get overseas? Well, I watch all the travel shows on TV. <laughs> he set you up for that one, Kelly. Oh, Travis. Yep. I've been overseas so many times just sitting right there in my living room chair. <laughs> You guys are crazy. <laughs> no, no, no. Excuse me. He's crazy. Yeah, I'm not sure about either one of you guys. Hey, where's Jamie? He's late this morning. Well, he probably thought that this week was his vacation, too. <laughs> I still wish I was going with Andy. It's going to be really lonely this week without her. Now, Kelly, how can you possibly say that? You've got three other actors and Rudy here to brighten up your day. Joanna's here. She's up in the office. No, wait. She's helping Mr. Wheeler move to his new office today. Whoa. Mr. Wheeler's moving to a new office? Yeah, same building, just up one floor. Oh, well, I guess Mr. Wheeler's moving up in the world then. <laughs> I guess you could say that. Wait, so without Joanna here, that means that I'm the only woman in the building? But look at it this way, Kelly. With Andy gone, you get to play your parts and her parts in the show this week. That's right. And you even get to take a ride in a New York City cab in one of the scenes. That'll make it feel like you're right there with her. Oh, yeah, Gates. That's going to make me feel like I'm really in New York City. Well, I'll tell you what. Anytime this week you get the urge for New York City, then just come and get me and we'll do the cab scene. Gee, thanks, Gates. You're so sweet. Hey, Gates, why don't you give her a cab ride right now? That's a great idea. No, that won't be necessary. Oh, come on, Kelly. It'll cheer you up. <laughs> Riding in that cab is not going to cheer me up. I bet it does. You and Gates can rehearse the scene you're going to do in the show this week, and I've never seen it. Travis, I don't want to. Oh, come on, young lady. Tis a beautiful day to take a ride in the city, no? No, no, thank you. Rudy, have you ever seen this scene? No, actually, I haven't. See, Kelly, we can try it out on them. Neither one of them has seen it. Gates, I don't want to. I'll get my costume. Gates. Come on, Kelly, I really want to see it. No. Come on, Kelly. Rudy, you want to see the scene? Sure. All right. Why do I let you guys talk me into these things? We're not trying to talk you into anything, Mom. We just wanted to cheer you up. Yeah, cheer me up. Forty-seventh and Broadway and step on it. Yes, ma'am. We'll get you there safe and sound, a lot willing. Hey, Gabby. You want to hear a good one? Oh, I just inherited a half a million dollars. For real, Mom? <laughs> yeah, sure did. Going to the bank right now to pick it up. Usually don't have a penny to my name, and now I got a half a million dollars. My goodness, ma'am. Praise the Lord, then. Yeah, sure, whatever. May I ask what happened? 
and my great aunt died. She left all of us some money. She was loaded. I mean, really loaded. Can't believe she actually left me some money. Lived about five miles down the road from her. Hadn't seen her in years. It didn't matter, though. Half a million dollars. Can you imagine all the sorts of stuff I can buy with that? Can really change your life. A half a million dollars can change a person's life for a little while. For a little while? Half a million dollars? Do you know how much money a half a million dollars is? Yes, ma'am. It is a lot of money. But it will only change your life for just a little while. Why do you say that? Because after a little while, the money is gone. Eh, half a million dollars will last me for the rest of my life. And then what? And then what what? And then what happens? I guess you go to the big graveyard in the sky. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you, ma'am, but there is no big graveyard in the sky, especially when a person dies. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> you live, you die. Half a million dollars. <laughs> who cares? Well, I care, ma'am. You care about what? I care about what happens to you when you die. I just inherited a half a million dollars. I'm not planning on kicking off anytime soon. You know, I'm not that old. I understand, ma'am. Oh, there's the bank here. We pull over. Yes, ma'am. So what do I owe you? It is $15, ma'am. There you go. Thank you. Sure. Oh, ma'am. Yeah? Have you ever noticed what's written on the back of a $5 bill? No. What? Yeah, take a look. The United States of America, five dollars. No, ma'am. Right there. In God we trust? Yes, ma'am. And if you put your trust in Jesus, he would take you to heaven when you die. Yeah, whatever you say, Cabby. It is not what I say, ma'am. It is in the Bible. All right, whatever. <laughs> One more thing, ma'am. What now? Your great aunt? All the money in the world is of no use to her now. Yeah, I guess you're right. You know, she's not running around anymore, flapping a big fat mouth, causing trouble. She's just not around anymore. Yes, ma'am, and the only way that she would get to heaven is she put her trust in Jesus. Yeah, I don't think she did that. I'm sorry to hear that, ma'am. But what about you? You still have time to believe and trust in Jesus. Yeah, I'm still kicking. I guess there's still hope for me. Yes, ma'am. But the only thing is, you don't know when your time is going to be up. Guess you're right. <laughs> hey, thanks for caring, Cabby. I'll think about it. Please do, ma'am. Please do. Hey guys, that's gonna play very well. I like that open ending there. Yeah, thanks. Uh, what we were trying to do was play into the trust theme for this week. And I really liked your accent, Kelly. I mean, it sounded like you was in New York to me. Didn't feel like it. I should be on that plane with Andy. Yeah, but Kelly, if you were on vacation too, then we wouldn't have any ladies in the show this week. I know. See, you're really needed around here. Thanks, guys. I know you're just trying to cheer me up. I appreciate it. Sure. Hey, everybody. Hey, Jamie. What, did you walk here this morning? <laughs> no, I was um, driving in, and there was this big accident out at the airport. Plane went down after takeoff. Oh, man. Yeah, traffic was way backed up. I was listening on the radio. 211 passengers and crew. Nobody survived. Man, that's horrible. Yeah. Flight 614 to New York. What? What is it? That's Andy's flight. Are you sure? Andy was on that flight. Oh, no. Jimmy, are you sure? Yeah, flight 614 left at 8.03. Oh. Well, maybe she wasn't on it. Call her cell phone. What's her number? Uh, 277. I don't I, know where I've got it, I've got it. 
Are you sure, Jamie? Yeah, I've been sitting in traffic for an hour. I've been listening to the details over and over again. Oh, you're absolutely sure? Yes, yes. Uh, flight 614 nonstop to New York, left at 8.03, went down just after takeoff and uh, crashed into that wooded field by all the phone towers and burst into flames. There were no survivors. Oh. All I get is a recording. A customer can't be reached. It might be those phone towers. Call her home, Rudy. Call her home. No, she doesn't have a home phone. She uses her cell phone for a home phone. That's right. I'm going over there. No, no, no. You can't. They got it blocked off for miles. I just happened to be going by at the time. You can't get there and now unless you're an emergency vehicle. What are we going to do? Is, is there somebody else we can call? Yeah, doesn't she have family around no, here? No, they're all in New York. Well, call her cell phone again, Rudy. We got to do something. What can we do? Oh, we got to do something. Is, is it ringing? Not yet. It's got to be those towers. Kelly. Are you sure that was her flight number? Yes, I'm sure. Same recording. OK, OK, listen. We need to pray. We just we just need to pray for a miracle. Oh, dear God. Lord, we need a miracle here. Please spare Andy, Lord. Father, we we need you to just somehow, some way, just do the impossible, Lord. Make it so that so that Andy didn't even get on that flight. And, and if she did, Lord, It'll be alive and well. Gates, Jamie said there were no survivors. Yeah, right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, I, I, I thank you, Lord, for just keeping Andy off that flight. We've got to find some way to get in touch with her. Maybe we can go to her house or something. I'll call Joanna. She's over at Mr. Wheeler's office. They're near Bride. They can stop and check it out. Good idea, Rudy. Call her. Call her. Uh, doesn't Andy live just a few minutes from Mr. Wheeler's office? I have no idea. I've never even been to her house. Yes, Gates. She's right next to the office. Joanna, hey. Yeah, look, uh, we've got an emergency here. Um, look, a plane went down at the airport this morning. And... Right, right, yes. Well, look, we think maybe Andy may have been on that flight. Right, yes, yes. Look, we tried her cell, nothing. Look, uh, I need you just to go over to her house just to see if she's there so we can confirm. R right. Okay. Uh, okay, good, good. And, and please hurry. Okay, bye. She's going to go over with Mr. Wheeler. Oh, right good. Now. Jamie, are you sure it was the 803 flight to New York? Yes, absolutely. Well, maybe there was more than one flight going to New York. I mean, they have several a day, right? No, there were just two this morning. There was a 655 and the 803, and Andy wanted the 803 so she could sleep later. Oh, dear God, please keep Andy off that flight. Let her car be sitting right there in that driveway when they get there. Gates, that was her flight. She was on that flight. Oh, dear Lord, please, please make it so that Andy did not get on that flight. Please spare our sister. I can't this is happening. I can't just sit here. I've got to go over no, there. Kelly, you can't, you can't, you can't get anywhere near there. I'm telling you the truth. What are we supposed to do? There's nothing you can do. Kelly, look, we're just as concerned about this as you are, but we, we, we need to wait. Wait for what? Because we got to wait till things get cleared up over there. I mean, so we can even travel over to get to the airport. He's right, Kelly. We couldn't even get close right now. Look, look, we've just, we got to keep our heads and we got to keep faith. I mean, remember the Lord's in control of this. Can't forget that. Is there anyone we can call that may know something about Andy? No. All right, how about a friend or a neighbor? I don't know who you could call. Well, there's got to be some way we can find some information. Maybe we could find a passenger list. Yeah, that's a great idea. Let's call the airport. Rudy, you got a phone book? Joanna's office. Okay, I'll go get it. Hurry, Jamie. No, wait. Just, just call information. Just call the operator. It's busy. It's busy? How can the operator be busy? Because everyone in the city is trying to make a call like we are. We'll try it again busy. Shouldn't there be something on TV about this? Yeah, but we don't have a TV here. Okay, what about the radio? I just, I've been listening to it on the way here. Uh, they're not saying any names or anything. Oh, no, they wouldn't do anything like that yet anyhow. I can't just stay here. But there's nothing we can do. I'm going home and I'm going to turn on my TV. Uh, Ke Kelly, uh, that's not a good idea. Why? Well, because it's not. I mean, you need to stay here with us. Besides, watching television is only going to make it harder. What do you mean? Well, the only thing the news is going to do is just rerun stories of things we know already about it, and, 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 and try to show footage of, of the wreckage area. We don't need to see that. It, it, it won't help. Hello? Joanna? Is she yeah. there? No, we haven't heard anything yet. Where are you right now? Okay, they're at West Seneca and Kilmore. Oh, what's Andy Street? Cameron, it's the next yeah, street it's up. Cameron, the next one. What's the house number? 15, the third one on the right. It's number 15, third on the right. Her car should be in the driveway. She normally doesn't park in the garage. Okay, the car should be in the driveway, not the garage. Nothing in the door. Okay. Can you check the garage? Okay. All right. Look, we'll call you as soon as we hear something then. Um, all right, fine. We'll see you shortly then. Okay, bye. They're just going to come over here. There's nothing in the garage either. Okay, listen, listen guys. Just, just, just listen. We need to just sit down and pray. We, we just need to pray for Andy. 
Okay, I mean, God is our only hope here, and we need to pray. Please. Gates is right. Come on, everybody. Come on, Kelly. Oh, God, help us. Everybody. Andy. Andy. Oh, Andy. Oh, thank God you're okay. I'm cool. fine. What's wrong? We we heard about the, the plane crash. What plane crash? The, the one we thought you were on. What? The plane yes. that you were supposed to be on went down just after takeoff. What? It went down just after takeoff. There were no survivors. We thought you were on it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. We've been trying to call your cell phone. Well, it doesn't work. I can't get a signal. Andy, what, what happened? I missed my flight. Yeah, but what happened? Well, I got there too late. My alarm didn't go off, so I got up late. And then I got out to my car and it wouldn't start, so I took a cab to the airport. But the flight was already boarding, so I couldn't get on. And then I just booked a flight for tomorrow and took a cab home. And then I got my car fixed and I drove over here, but it took forever because the traffic was backed up. But didn't you listen to the radio and hear the news? No, Gates, I listen to music when I drive. I don't listen to the radio. Thank God for an alarm that didn't go off. And that car that didn't start. Thank you, Jesus. I can't believe this. My plane went down? Hey, we are so happy to see you. I could not be happier. Yeah, me too. All I can say is praise the Lord. Oh, 
here I got so frustrated. First when my alarm didn't go off and then my car wouldn't start and I got so upset. You know, I actually got mad at God. Yeah, but that alarm not going off and the car not starting. You saved your life. You know, Gates prayed that somehow God would some way save Andy's life. And he did.